The character of wisdom is such that there is a system of expressing it. It's not enough to have wisdom. You must know how wisdom, the outworkings of wisdom, I call it. You must know and you must learn how wisdom manifests. Are we together now? So even if you have received that investment of the spirit, there you have to understand the dynamics of releasing the, the spirit of wisdom. And I want to give it to you very quickly. Number one, wisdom is revealed and released in the believer through number one, the sacrifice of meditation. The sacrifice of meditation. Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 1. Please understand, don't confuse what we are dealing with now. How do I release the wisdom that has now come? I have received it but I need it to find expression through desire a man having separated himself the Bible says he seeketh and intermeddleth with all wisdom wisdom is dimensional meditation can give you every dimension of wisdom divine direction is a subset of wisdom divine strategies is a subset of wisdom Daniel chapter 2, please. Let's look at Daniel chapter 2. We'll begin our reading from verse 14. Daniel chapter 2 and verse 14. Please prepare your hearts to receive. Watch this. This was when the king, the king slept, forgot his dream. Can you imagine how kings thought those days? You forget your dream, you slept by yourself on your bed, forgot your dream, and you are going to kill everybody because you are angry. Then Daniel answered with counsel and wisdom to Ariok, the captain of the king's guard, which was gone forth to slay the wise men of Babylon. He answered and said unto Ariok, the king's captain, why is the decree so hasty? That means the manifestation of wisdom takes time. Beware of hasty decisions. True wisdom allows the spirit of God to rest upon you. There is a time component to manifesting wisdom god gives speed but he's not hasty he says why is the decree so hasty from the king then ariok made the thing known unto daniel verse 16 then daniel went in listen and desired of the king that he should give him what so when you need wisdom you need time time that comes through meditation the outworkings of wisdom just give me time and I'll bring you a supernatural solution. Even though the spirit of wisdom is upon me, he does not walk carelessly. He walks with time. And that time is spent in meditation. Now watch this. He said that he should give him time and that he would show the king the interpretation. Uh -huh. Then Daniel went to his house and made the thing known to Ananiah, Michelle, Azariah, his companions. Verse 18. That they would desire mercies of God, the God of heaven concerning this secret. That Daniel and his followers should not perish with the rest of the wise men of Babylon. 19. Hallelujah. Read with me. Then the secret was the secret revealed unto Daniel in a night vision. You see how the spirit of wisdom works. Meditation. The sacrifice of meditation. Do you know that there are many non-Christian sects that understand this principle? They would stay for a long time with a clean sheet. Find out some of the top CEOs of conglomerates around the world. They just sit down. Sometimes they go on a vacation. You think they are swimming around and you see them sitting under a tree or somewhere just taking the cool breeze and they are just meditating and sitting quietly. And then one idea comes from heaven that that defines the next 10 years the spirit of wisdom walks through the sacrifice of meditation I cannot begin to tell you ideas things that have come by the spirit of wisdom as I sat down sometimes in the night where everywhere is silent and I just sit down I'm just playing worship like this and I'm quiet do you know the Bible says be still 
and you will know there is a level of knowledge that comes when you are still lord i don't know how i'm going to do ministry i don't know how to go about this but i give you praise i remember i say some of these things to encourage us it's really no secret i remember when god was preparing us to start the work here one night I, I just sat down and i was just praying and then i kept quiet for more than 30 minutes and there his voice came the spirit of wisdom the lord made me to buy the map of abuja just a map of abuja nigeria africa and the entire globe and i bought all of them and he said i should lay my hands and begin to pray and speak over it and speak over the territory divine strategies by the spirit of wisdom and with that childlike behavior you ask the forces over this territory what happened a territory does not just open because you have something to say there are controlling powers but one manifestation of the spirit of wisdom can help to keep them where they belong this is not in an arrogant sense some of you did not inquire from the spirit of wisdom you went alone to start business you had capital and all you did was to open a shop don't feel bad that's why you are here and you just gathered goods and sat down there and he said no do you not know let me tell you how the spirit of wisdom comes it comes largely through scripture you are sitting down wondering why is my business not growing for instance lord why is this not write all the problems and then keep them before the lord writing down the problems is proof that you expect an answer lord i will wait speak to me and one by one his voice will start coming how am i going to raise one billion ten billion for this project and all that i have in my account home and abroad is five hundred thousand. and the holy ghost comes with the spirit of wisdom you don't need ten billion you only need men because money hides in men so don't think you cannot start the project because of money relationships are cheaper go and start learning how to build relationships the spirit of wisdom are you getting what i'm saying now and you get up and say okay lord what do i do and he says here's the deal i will grant you favor and i will connect you with gatekeepers start from there and the next thing you enter your office and a ceo that you have no business knowing and you remember that was my deal and because you have mastered relationships you understand the law of honor good afternoon sir and the spirit of god rides through your understanding and makes the man to say who are you you're a young man you look visionary what do you do he says sir well we thank god I'm, I'm still putting plans together see me tomorrow a connection has begun that will let her birth you to become a billionaire when people ask you and you say i don't know you are right but you are wrong don't tell them you don't know it's a manifestation of the spirit of wisdom one thing connecting to the other someone can sit down and your life is not moving forward and you sit down meditating lord there has to be a way no matter how long there is a way and i trust you this is why i am here suddenly the spirit of wisdom comes breathes upon you james chapter 2 and verse 26 let me tell you why you have been failing there is no spirit component to what you are doing a body without a spirit is dead your shop is only a body there is no spirit back in it your political career is only a body there is no spirit back in it oh dear politician your intelligence is only a body there is no spirit back in it so when you introduce the spirit component to anything you are doing you now give it life wisdom has come to you the sacrifice of meditation number two how do you access the spirit of wisdom luke chapter 21 and verse 15 let's look at amplify ways that you access the spirit of wisdom listen carefully is as you open your mouth to speak by faith it says i will give you a mouth 
and such utterance and wisdom that all of your foes combined will be unable to stand or refute. There are many times you have to go by faith. You are in the boardroom and now you are about to speak and wisdom works like word of knowledge. You, at the point, you do not even know what to say yet. But by faith and in the name of Jesus, believing you have the investment of that spirit, you open your mouth and you begin to communicate things that later on you will have to listen to what you said yourself because you know you are not the one speaking. This is how many people got jobs. They went by faith because the spirit of wisdom was there and they had all kinds of executives sitting there and they were standing there, though shaking like a leaf. They believed they were not alone. Young man, what do you intend to do for this company? And the person does not know what to say. And suddenly, here he comes. <sighs> and boldness and you begin to speak and articulate with such level of uncanny intelligence. This is what I seek to bring. This is what I seek to bring. And they look at you and say, where have you been? When you go out of that place, you can't even remember what you said. Open your mouth and I will feel it. Are you learning something? When you open up your mouth, Matthew chapter 10, please, from verse 19 and 20. When you speak and you make decisions, you give room for the spirit of wisdom to come up. It says, but when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak for it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak verse 20 it says for it is not ye that speak hallelujah but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you i was in bonny bonny island a few maybe a month or two ago and i had a wonderful tour you know they just showed us the oldest cathedral and when they were talking about one i think it was uh, bishop joseph johnson now i think i hope i got that right and there was a pulpit there and uh, the people who were helping us with the tour were just explaining something that happened the guy prepared his notes and he was going to preach and i think something i don't know what it is that happened and maybe he lost his notes or something and he stood there he was shaking he did not know what to say and fire just came and the spirit of wisdom and revelation came upon that man and he began to speak that was how his first message came can i tell you there are times you have to close your eyes by faith and just say something you will find out that it did not come out as foolish as you thought it would be because the holy spirit edited it before it came out number three how does the outworking of the spirit of wisdom how does it work creative thinking write it down innovative and creative thinking job chapter 32 and verse 8 this is the young man elihu speaking job 32 here's what he had to say but there is a spirit in a man or a man and the inspiration everyone please say inspiration creative thinking is powerful this is not about businessmen this is how the mind works the mind was designed to birth supernatural possibilities the moment you drop it in that atmosphere where there is an incubation of destiny altering ideas innovations creative thinking you're a leader here you're a captain of industry find time where you just move away from people and be alone and begin to think allow the holy spirit brood over your mind that's what it means to think creatively in the name of jesus christ what is the next step to this church what is the next step to this company what is the next step to preserving the purposes of god as committed to me and ideas begin to come from your spirit and then one of the ways that god brings draws out this manifestation of wisdom within us is through dreams and visions. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 1. Please, when the spirit of wisdom is at work in you, do not downplay the power of dreams and visions. God, 
who at sundry times and in diverse manners listen carefully he spake in the time past unto the fathers by the prophets by the prophets so he used the prophetic he used dreams and visions i think it's um what's the scripture that says i have used similitudes i have multiplied visions similitudes you can go to bed and suddenly find yourself and the holy spirit is revealing this to you like he did to daniel in chapter 2 and verse 19 then the secret was revealed unto daniel was it not joseph that went to bed and had a dream and his whole destiny played before him i saw the sun the moon and 11 stars many of us lose touch we lose the opportunity to release the spirit of wisdom because when we get up with prophetic dreams and visions and encounters we do not document them let me tell you this every time you wake up and you find out that god gave you a dream that you know is prophetic you see the way dreams and visions we have a series on that the way dreams and visions work is you can see part one of that vision in 2017 and keep it the part two will come in 2022 and then you now join it and it makes sense if you do not respect the first part you will not see the second part dreams and visions seldom come complete they come in part because we see in part but you must respect the parts that god has shown you okay god told you you are getting into ministry but he did not tell you the kind of ministry he did not tell you the location he did not tell you the dimension respect the one you have seen so far write it down and start praying over it then another part will come god told you you are going to become a great politician you are going to lead nations you're going to lead territories he didn't tell you in what capacity respect the part he gave you and put it down he says write the vision write the vision before you write the vision you must receive the vision when you receive the vision your next assignment is to write it down are we blessed very very important dreams and visions now 